Hey everyone, it's Curly here, and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. Last time we made it through Route 3 and made it here to Burul Town, which is uh, presumably the site of the next gym badge. Let's see, Burul Town, City of Caves. Take our word, don't travel west. Well, interesting. Uh, let's see what's over here, it's the subway, which I'm guessing is still under construction. Um, Alright, that's fine, I guess we're gonna have to wait till later. Uh, that probably takes us to... Somewhere else, don't want to go there yet. There's a nice open field here, which is interesting. Truth is that this sounds so peaceful that I don't have anything to do. Uh. Welcome to Lisa's Rustic Shop. Would you like to check our store? Sure I do. Oh, you sell the herbs. Uh, huh. Very bitter root that restores one Pokemon to 100. Um, hmm. I don't know if I really want any of these, but is there anything I can help you with? Can I sell anything? I don't think I have anything, yeah. Uh, I have that netball that I stole from that family. Yeah, I don't really have anything. Nope. Bye-bye. Um, I don't know if there's really too much that I can do in this town. Seems not as- is this the gym? <laughs> wow, the gym is in a cave. That's dope. Leader Darren. Or Daverin. Daverin. Like Cavern, but Daverin. Interesting. The cave- Ex excavation master. Okay, I was gonna say something else. Uh, interesting. <laughs> That's definitely the coolest outside design for a gym, I'll say that much. Um, I guess let's go check if there's anything that's interesting. In any of these houses here. Let's see. If bad guys like Team Rocket actually existed, they wouldn't stand a chance against me. <laughs> okay, sure. That's, that is a good point. I haven't seen any of these evil teams yet, which is, if you remember from the last episode, one of my gripes on most fan games. But it well, I'll see what happens. Junior is always staying up late playing his game, but he still gets his homework done, so I suppose I can't complain. That's right. Let's go see what else we can find. You're probably from Monkey Town. That place is so bad. So that's why you're so fascinated with Burrule then. I can't just see it in your eyes. I can just see it in your eyes. What a bitch. Fuck you, man. I, I live there. You fucking cunt. Uh, and then there's this guy who's playing Pokemon Silver, apparently. Which is interesting. Oh, he said something different this time. Current is making a Pokeball for me. Last time he said something about the Ampharos medicine. There you go. That's interesting. Um, the only other interesting thing I found is here, which is... I guess this version's... This game's version of the trainer school. Why is there a TV? Why isn't this a blackboard? I t I am teacher. I'm I don't know why I read that so wrong. I'm the teacher of this school. Nice. Say, have you heard about debate? It's a cool activity. This year we're debating whether or not to enact an age requirement for Pokemon trainers. Interesting. We're learning about evolution right now. Do you know that the Tandor official starters once only evolved once, unlike the only. The, unlike most other official stars which evolved twice, what is wrong with me today? I can't read anything. That's actually something I did know, um, if I remember correctly. They evolved to their second stage, and their quote-unquote third stage is actually a Mega Evolution, which is pretty cool. Uh, our school sports teams are the toughest around. We can beat Moki or Kevlar with our hands tied. Well, fuck you. This is a rival school. I'm just gonna rip down our fucking curtains and fucking... Misorganize all these fucking books there. Yeah. Yeah, cuz you know, I'm from Moki Towns so like fuck you push all your fucking computer. Anyways, uh, let's go up here. Oh Boy interesting I'm practicing for battle class. Do you think you can help me study? Sure I can all right then here I come so I went ahead and I switched up uh, Gozord whoa shit <laughs> That's not gonna work out. I put Grozord, uh, even though I was trying to involve Kathy, I put Grozord up just so he can maybe get a little bit more experience. Um, maybe be useful in the next gym battle. Maybe he'll learn Bulbul soon. Just because it's a rock time gym leader, as you can obviously see by the fact that it's in a fucking cave. But I don't think that's gonna work out too well against this Or Rocks here. <clears throat> or 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 Orchlinks. Orchlinks? Is that what it is? I don't know. That, that should be it. Seriously, this guy has a rep torch and also... Oh, brawls. I think this thing is probably like fire ground. Oh, let's see how much this does. Not too much. Alright. Oh, fuck me! Flame body! God damn it, I'm not even gonna be able to heal. Oh my god. There's no point in me healing because I'm just gonna end up dying next turn. Fuck. 
Uh, the only thing I can really... Yeah, I have a big fire type weakness, because I can't really do anything against these things. Because two of my Pokemon are just completely useless against them. And then everyone else can just kind of do damage. Well, Tom, though, needs to really step up his shit. Quite honestly. Come on! <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> when I said I had a fire weakness, I really meant it. Ugh. I can't believe this asshole has three fucking starters and he's in the school. I barely have one. Ugh, this is so unfair. Thankfully, at the very least, the last one is the only one I can actually do any damage to. Oh, man, this sucks. I was thinking of maybe, you know, finishing up here and then seeing if I can take on the gym leader, but... Fuck, that it's not... I mean, granted, sure, Ocho Sinka can probably take on the gym by herself, but... Everyone else... Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> so legit, everyone has one of these specials, except for me. What what dumbass ability does Ocho Sinka have that doesn't activate? <sighs> she has... Battle Armor. Cool! <laughs> Glad to know I got the lamest looking one, but also the one with the lamest ability. That's just awesome. Jesus Christ. This thing is annoying. Here I'm thinking that she's gonna evolve at like level 16, but that's probably not gonna happen to like level 20. Wow, that was awesome. I wrecked your entire team. Oh, fuck. All right, so I really need to figure something out here. Uh, Cause these guys are really not fucking bringing their weight. Uh, Birdie's not the best, but he can at least do something and Yalman is dope as hell, uh, given that he's actually been able to keep up, given that he was level 5 an episode ago. Ojo Sinka is just kind of there. They gotta figure out what to do with these guys. Oh, man. Like, I guess I can... Alright, this is... What... Actually, let me go back to the Pokemon Center. So, the issue is, I'm pretty sure that I just have too many Pokemon to start off with. That's why I'm having such a difficult time getting these guys up. So, I'm gonna end up having to ditch two of these guys and just focus on one of them, seeing if I can get them at least up to like level 10 or something like that. I just don't know which ones to get rid of. <sighs> I really wanted to keep Kathy, but I don't really think she's going to be doing too hot. Just because she's a bug type, basically. She's definitely not going to help me in the next gym. Uh, these two guys technically will, but I don't know how much that's going to work out. Um, she also doesn't help my fire type weakness. She's part of the reason I have a fire type weakness, so if I get rid of her, I only really have to worry about Ojo Sinka, which isn't so bad, and these guys actually get rid of fire types relatively easily once they get, you know, the right moves, so that's good. Uh, but then which one of these two would I get rid of? They, they both have shit moves. Um, they're both pretty differently typed. They both have their purposes, I mean, the only difference is that Rotonda... Ugh, oh, this thing's a special attacker, that's why it's so garbo. Well, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> um, hmm. Whereas, Rotondo doesn't really... I mean, his nature is garbage, because I'm guessing it's supposed to have shit speed to begin with, um, and then maybe having a decent special attack, but it's definitely a lot better than Gozord here. So it's also bulky, which we can use. I mean, we already have a bulky Pokemon, so we can actually use some offense. But it doesn't look like Grozor is going to be doing anything offensively anytime soon. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and put out Grozor here. Place him right there. And then uh, let's go ahead and get Kathy. And then just put her there. Because I don't really think they're going to be doing me any good anytime soon. I could have just kept him on the party as Death Fodder, but I feel like that's kind of mean. Uh, so then what I'm just going to end up doing is I'm going to try and finish up whatever trainers are left here in the trainer school, and in between episodes I'll get uh, Rotondo up as high as I can, and then see if I can take on the gym. I mean, hopefully learn some water type move in between then. I figure I can learn how to battle Pokemon good. Wait. I figure if I can... I figure if I learn how to battle Pokemon good, I can beat Pokemon Red version easy. Want to fight? What? The f how do those two correlate? Whatever. Got another trainer here. I'm assuming he's probably gonna be tougher than the previous guy just because he has, um, he's older, but maybe not. Maybe they were the same trainer class and I just, I'm just remembering wrong. Uh, this thing's actually a poison type, so there's nothing really Rotondo can do. So, um, I guess we'll go into Birdie. I mean, at least Birdie has 
Air Cutter, which is a decent move. I mean, it's not the strongest move in the game or anything like that, but it's probably the strongest move I have so far, really. <laughs> oh, that's sweet, sweet damage. Let's see if I can finish it off with Quick Attack. Uh, almost. That's one of the good things, at least, about Birdie is that as much as I hate the normal flying type thing, just because it's so overused, it's um, good that Quick Attack gets that stab. Nice. Um, still no new moves, unfortunately. We got a Grozord here, which shouldn't be too much of an issue since it should only have you a scratch and stuff, which don't do really any damage. Wow, I can't believe this thing's actually a special attacking Pokemon. I never would have thought that. Got Birdie. Going up to level 17, now we got this thing here. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, I play with Set. I'm probably going to end up switching over to Switch until I get a bit more comfortable. Uh, I'm going to go over here because I believe this thing is still Rock-type, right? It's a Steel Rock-type, so this should pretty much finish it off in one hit. Yep. Well, just about. Does it have Sturdy? No, it just got lucky. Alright, fair enough. And then let's just go finish it off with a Low Kick. I think Low Kick actually finishes it off because uh, I fought one sometime before. And just obliterates it, which is fine because I figured as much it would be heavy. Battling is easier in the games. Yeah. Oh, whoa! Shit! Birdie's actually evolving. Uh huh. I, uh, wow. Okay. D <laughs> didn't see that coming. Maybe that'll give us our team a little bit more power. What the fuck is that? Evolving to Avidan. Or Avidan. Uh, we'll say what now? Uh huh. Well, I mean, special attack looks decent. Oh, and it has illumability and analytic boost the move power when the Pokemon moves last. Ah, oh, but it has a decent speed, so that's kind of dumb. Why would I give it that? Oh, well, let's go see what the Pokedex has to say about it. Uh, should be up here somewhere, right? No, maybe higher. There we go. Abaddon, the Bliss Bird Pokemon. The blue feathers on its chest reflect light. They use flashes to communicate with one another in Forest Canopy. Interesting. And I'm guessing it evolves again, because I doubt that there's just a random one-off Pokemon in between that and uh, Cub Bug. Huh, nah, not bad. All right, well, at least we got ourselves a somewhat strong Pokemon, presumably. Um, let's see if you battle. Hey, trainer, these kids need help studying. If you can battle them, you'll get a special reward. All right, let's go beat up this last one, I guess. Oh, hey, w would you mind a battling J just for practice, you know? Sure. And it'd be really nice if I can take this thing down by myself. <laughs> or if Rotono could take this thing down by himself. Uh, but judging by this fact that this thing is such a higher level and it's doing so much damage. Man. Uh, bug bite would have been nice, but would have been pointless because I'm sure this thing is a uh, cub fly. I'm pretty sure it's a special attacking Pokemon. That's interesting. Uh, well, I, I guess I'll use a super potion. See if I can have Rotono get all this experience here from taking. Wow, god damn it. This thing down just because it's a fairy type and I know poison sting is super effective. Not that it's doing a lot of fucking damage. But hopefully you can. Uh, wow, that hurts. Finish it off uh, after. Nope. Thought that was doing a lot more damage, but I uh, should be done in, in like two more turns, so I guess I'll heal up again. Oh boy. Let's see how much Bug Bite actually does in damage. So we have 27, end up with 10. So that's a 17 damage. My lord. Uh, was I faster than it? Oh, I don't remember. Let's not risk it. Let's just heal up with Tondo. Okay, hit with Bug Bite again. My god, that did so much more damage. Oh, there we go. At least it died. And then that should give a ton of a good amount of experience at least, right? Yeah, there we go. Level 10. Learn a move, please. Ooh, almost another level. Uh, S'more. Hmm. Another bug type. Um, I guess supersonic? Ember shouldn't do too much. I mean, you're a water type for God's sake. There we go. Confuse it at least. Hopefully then it'll beat itself up. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like uh, in these... Um, RPG Maker specific fan games, I feel like the algorithms are a bit off. Because uh, I feel like you encounter Pokemon a lot more, and I feel like the uh, sort of way, uh, like confusion and sleep and stuff like that works is a little bit differently, but maybe it's just me. Of course, this thing shouldn't do anything. Ugh, I can definitely kill this thing off if I could just do a little bit more damage. Uh, maybe. Alright, I guess that's not horrible. 
I've been switching off between pound and return in like when I was leveling this guy up to see which one would do the more damage and I'm pretty sure uh, return just does a tiny bit more. So we're just gonna end up sticking with that. It, return is eventually just gonna be a lot stronger just because of this thing eventually ending up liking us whether it wants to or not. Um, which is nice. Alright, so this guy seems, or this chick seems to be using just all bug Pokemon. So, oh, okay. I thought there was gonna be another Pokemon. I was trying to think of what other early bug Pokemon there is, but that's about it. I, I hope my Pokemon weren't hurt or, and nothing. Fuck you. You don't wanna hurt my Pokemon. Whatever. Hey, awesome. Thanks. This should help you with your studies. Now, <clears throat> now you get your reward a solid go nugget. What? Hey! That is if you join with Team Rocket first. Gotcha, didn't I? <laughs> but seriously, you wanna battle me? You get a nugget if you win. Ugh, oh, fine. Prepare yourself. Should've known. Ugh, oh, Dunsparce? Uh, alright. I feel like this, uh, this is one of these hack games where Dunsparce is like an important Pokemon for whatever dumb reason. I feel like it's this one. Ugh, oh, goddammit. Alright, uh, alright, we can just go with the Yaoman here. Redondo looking a lot better now, at least he's, uh, <laughs> a much higher level, so... Let's see if I can get him to, like, 14. Um, before next episode, I'll do a little bit more grinding, get him to try to get him to 14, and then from there on out, I'll just, uh, take on the gym leader next time. Because I don't think I'm ready. I mean, I might be... What the fuck is that? Kin milk. Is this what fucking Chang Milk evolves into? Wow, that's cool. I, I was considering getting one just- Ah, oh, goddammit. Just because it's an electric type, and I thought that would be useful. Oh, it's a normal electric type, that's, so it's like Helip style, that's nice. Um, but I didn't think it would be that great, <laughs> given that it's what, you know, the first Pokemon you find, basically. So I figured I wouldn't waste my time. Nice job there, Yao Man. No, I'm probably saying your name wrong. Right. Beat up? Mmm. Normally I don't care for beat up, uh, cause I think it's a weird move, but it is a dark type move, and you don't have any dark type moves, um, I guess stomp, yeah, I'll give it a return, just cause stomp is probably a lot more powerful right now, sweet, almost another level up, uh, what the fuck is this, a bro, barrand, barrand is, what? Uh, it could go for, let's try to just beat up. Peck! What is going on? Ugh, oh, and I'm paralyzed. Ugh, oh, that's so lame. Alright, whatever. No point in using a potion if I'm just paralyzed. You did a good job. Uh, I guess we'll go for Birdie. Our new full, well, not fully evolved, the new evolved Pokemon here. I don't know what the hell this thing is. I guess I'll go for an air cutter. See how much Peck, uh, Peck doesn't do too much. And we finish it off in one hit, so I guess it's not really that strong of a Pokemon. I, I don't think that's what Girls Are Involved into, right? I'm pretty sure it's not. To the winner, go the spoil. So we get ourselves the nugget. Can you give me the nugget? Well, as promised, here you go. This should be good training for the gym if you haven't beat it yet. And again, thanks. Sweet. Let's uh go ahead and take a look at whatever the fuck that was. Where is Girls? Oh, so it's not Girls Are. Girls Are actually only evolves once. I thought he evolved three times. Well, that changes that. Uh, where is that other thing? Oh, wow, that girl could have the sp Spoonie. That would've made sense. Spoonie like a water type or something? Maybe it's just a bug type to be here. Oh, it doesn't show me here. Fair enough. Uh, I guess it's just, it's just some later on Pokemon that you get. Wow. And uh, we won't be catching that anytime soon because it's on the other side of the map, which is fine. All right, well. Either way, that does it for this episode of Pokemon Uranium. Next time, I'm, or rather, before next time, I should say, I'm going to try and level up Rotondo. Or at least, I'll check to see if he learns a Water-type move anytime soon. If not, I'll just let him fend for himself. Uh, and then I'll uh, take on the Gym Leader, Davrid. Stay fresh.